You can't change what has happened in your life. However, you can begin today to change your future, to write a better story than the one you are currently living. If you don't at least try to create the future that you want, you must endure the future that you get. Small, almost invisible differences in the choices you make today can lead to incredibly different outcomes over time. But you must decide today that you await no more when it comes to demanding the best for yourself. You must go from interest to commitment because weak desire brings weak results. Strong desire brings strong results. If you want things to change, you must change. You must evolve. You must be better than who you were yesterday. Because you can't expect that things will change around you if you aren't willing to put in the work today to change things within you. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Simon Alexander Ong, the best-selling author of Energize, an international keynote speaker and an award-winning coach. In today's video, I want to share with you the six laws of self-improvement. Laws that I believe would change your life if you start applying them from today. So get your notepad out, watch until the end of this video to absorb all of the laws and get ready to become unrecognizable in the coming months. The first law is the law of curiosity. I came across this story of how Steve Jobs implemented the magnetic cord for Apple's MacBook products following a trip to Japan. While over there, he learned that Japanese electrical appliance companies had magnetic cords connecting rice cookers to their power source. He asked them the reason behind this. And they shared that if a child was to trip on one of these cords, the cord would come out, but the appliance would stay still. The appliance would not fall off the kitchen table and hit the child. And Steve saw an insight upon hearing the answer to his question. When he returned to California, he said to his engineers, I want us to bring a magnetic cord into our next MacBook products. When he launched it, journalists and editors in the technology field held the move as genius. Curiosity, it appears, can lead to innovation and originality. Curiosity also helps me towards doing the work that I now get to do today. It took me from being an employee to an entrepreneur and from being an extremely shy person to being someone who speaks regularly on stages across the planet and on social media platforms like here on YouTube. Curiosity is the key to being an eternal student. And if you want to be better than who you were yesterday, you must keep on learning. The way you approach life and learning has nothing to do with your age and everything to do with your attitude. You are in the enviable position of having access to an abundance of resources, books, podcasts, videos, and mentors. It is up to you to make time in your schedule, to follow your curiosities, to explore them and see where they may lead to. Learning doesn't stop with your formal education. In fact, it marks the beginning of your real education. Curiosity helps you to think beyond the ordinary because of its ability to ignite your creative thinking and imagination. And as a result, it can lead to an extraordinary life. It frees you from attachment to outcomes. Because when you follow your curiosity, you are motivated by the desire to learn and improve. Following your curiosity also opens you to more ideas, which in turn makes your thinking richer. The entire world opens up to you and there are few limits on what you can learn and how you can develop. So be curious to constantly experiment because you don't know what works until you try. The second law is the law of environment, which states that the fastest way to make progress in your life is to design an environment around you that makes it impossible not to succeed. Your environment plays a huge role in your personal success. And this is because your environment is always stronger than your willpower. Stock your kitchen cupboard with unhealthy food and that is what you will be eating. If you want to fulfill your potential, therefore, you must have the right environment around you. Significant growth in your life will not occur unless you are continually challenged in your environment. The environment that you live and work in has a massive impact on your level of energy as well. And that is why early in my entrepreneurial career, what I did was to curate my very own mental board of advisors. These were people 
that had impacted my life in a positive way. From authors to speakers and people whose videos I watched. What I did was to choose six of them. Six people whose wisdom and insights I could lean on. When I went through a challenge or I had a question to ask, I would go into my imagination, take a seat at the top of this table and listen to what each of these advisors would tell me. So what can you do today to upgrade the quality of your environment? From the people that you spend time with, to what you read, and from what you watch and listen to, to the physical environment that you create in your home. The third law is the law of silence. Most of us don't like silence because it forces us to confront ourselves. But silence helps to disconnect us from the noise of the world outside. And silence is far from empty. It is full of the answers, wisdom and insights that you are seeking. In this space of stillness, you give your innate wisdom a voice. You allow your creativity to blossom and you experience an awakening of clarity. Think back to when you have had some of your breakthroughs. Chances are that they came not from staring into screens or working long hours at your desk, but from disconnecting and being in a meditative state. States that arise from doing activities such as swimming, running, being on a long haul flight, or enjoying a long bath or shower. As Rumi noted, the quieter you become, the more you are able to hear. You need moments of silence in your life if you want to self-improve. You need it to gain perspective. You need it to connect with your true self and you need it to stay balanced. Slowing down in a world that is only getting faster is a superpower. And it is something that I have been tapping into a lot. Some of my favorite activities to tap into this superpower include things such as journaling, going to the gym, being in nature, and swimming. It allows me to live in the present moment, to connect with my true self, and to make sense of the world. So make time for periods of silence today, to bring your attention into the present moment and to deepen your level of self-awareness because you can't have self-development without self-awareness. The fourth law is the law of action, which states that when you make moves towards what you want, what you want makes moves towards you. Most of us know what to do. We just don't commit to action often enough. Collapsing that gap between idea and execution will become one of the greatest skills that you can develop because ultimately you will become the sum of your actions. Take this law as a reminder that you will never be ready to start that idea, to make that move, to go for that opportunity, that the only permission you need to go for it and to begin is yours alone, that when everything is unknown, anything is possible, that all of us are winging it just like you. Taking risks, both big and small, is a core part of living a good life. Not all risk takers will be winners, but all winners are risk takers. So be courageous and take some risk today, however small, because once you begin building that feeling of momentum, you will be unstoppable. The fifth law is the law of consistency. Upon picking up an award for his performance in the film Fences, Denzel Washington shared the following words with the audience. Without commitment, you will never begin. More importantly, without consistency, you will never finish. If you want to grow, consistency is key because there is no such thing as an overnight success, only over time success. Improving yourself on a daily basis will guarantee you a future filled with the magic of possibility. This is why one of my personal mantras is visualizing years, planning months, execute in days. Without the execution on a consistent basis, the plan will never materialize and the vision will never be achieved. And consistency always beats intensity. If you take just one small step each day towards where you would like to be, that accumulates to 365 steps a year from now. Just imagine who and where you could be. As John Maxwell noted, you will never change your life until you change something that you do daily. And this is the essence of the compound effect. You have the potential to benefit from a series of small, smart and intentional choices. Because it is what you do in the dark 
where nobody is watching, that will eventually put you in the light where everyone is watching. Consistency is the unsexiest, yet surest way to move forward in any area of your life. It is also important for you to understand that to become a success story, you must be willing to look stupid and like a beginner for a very long time before you start getting things right. This is because successful outcomes are rarely the result of a single choice, rather the result of good choices built up over time. The sixth law is the law of perception. Reality is perception and perception is reality. There is no one reality, only the customized reality that you live in. And this is because the way you interpret an event or experience will be very different to someone else. And it is this meaning that you bring to your experiences that determine the actions you take and don't take and also the reality that you live in. Moment to moment, you are living in the feeling of your thinking. And when you choose better thoughts, you harness the ability to change, bend and shape your reality into something that works for you and not against you. Remember, your mind is the birthplace of every victory and every defeat. So these are the six laws of self-improvement that would change your life when you start applying them from today. Remember, life begins when you take full responsibility for where you are now and where you want to be. You must own your tomorrow today, be intentional with how you live each day, and build your life around that which matters the most. Death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside of you while you are still alive. Let me know in the comments below what law you will be focused on in the coming weeks. And if you enjoyed this video, you will also like this one. It would also be amazing if you could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.